Oh my god! It's the woman in black! Alright, enough with the bad movie references. Well, then again, that movie really wasn't that bad. Hey everybody, it's Cool Goldfinch, and welcome back to more Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. And I made a really bad movie reference to the movie The Woman in Black. I just want to clarify that, because it might have sounded like a racist comment and really wasn't intended to be that way. <laughs> Let's just say it sounded better in my head, how about that? Anyway, in the last episode, we took down Kisame, the final of the two Akatsuki that invaded the village, and unlocked both of them for multiplayer use, which is great. Even though, you know, they're really the most overpowered characters in the game, in my opinion. I'm sure you guys have different opinions on that. Anyway, in this episode, we will be continuing on trying to master the new jutsu, the Rasengan. And there are pots in there. I don't... Eh, I need some objects. But if there's really not a box around here, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, there's not a box around here. So I say, how about we just really quickly get started with this? Come on, get up here. Thank you. Now, to start, I don't want to get into this just yet, because there's three people around the village that we need to help. The first one uh, we're going to help is right next to us, because uh, so I don't feel like cutting. Uh, right up there at the top of the village. After that one, I'm going to cut away to the one on the left-hand side of the village, and then finally to the bottom half of the village, just so you know which order I'm doing them in. Alright, so let's head over there and see what those people need from us, because, honestly, we need money and XP. Uh, if you don't believe this, then you're never going to get 100%. <laughs> because honestly, the stuff at the shops are so freaking expensive. Like, I haven't even bought all the music. You don't need to buy everything. You, I don't think you need to buy all the music. You just need to buy all the items, I think. Uh, was that was Naruto's team called together? I saw Sasuke going somewhere. And he not as fragile as ever. And we got a new Bjerg mission. Uh, the Bjerg mission is called... Squad 7's joint training. Sakura's getting back to basic tree climbing training. As soon as you're free, go join her. Okay. Yeah, that, those have never really turned out great, so I'm not gonna do that right now. For now, let's head back. Let's head down to the other guy I said I was gonna go see. Alright, and this girl I made fun of in like the sixth episode, I think, is here. She has the next mission for us. This won't do it all. I've run out of ingredients for my sweets. I need two apples, but I'm super busy right now. What's a girl to do? Hmm, well, what lovely apples. Would you be kind enough to let me have them? I'll sure re I'm sure I'll return the favor. Oh, you helped me a lot. Thank you. What should I give you in return? How about this? Now I can make those delicious sweets, and it's all thanks to you. Yeah, none of that sounded sexual. <laughs> anyway, we get a plane tag, which is an item for making an item at the item shop that I told you about. And the item shop, again, is uh, one of those two right there. It's uh, right next to Eno's flower shop, if you know where that is. And let's go down there. And I already know what that mission down there is. And just so I can prove it, I'm going to call it. It's going to be Jiraiya with that ring training again that I'm going to save as a bonus episode. Let's see if I'm right. Hey! Look at that! 20,000 steps! And how'd I call it? It was Jiraiya. Anyway, um, it took a little extra time for me because my computer was heating up and with my luck it would shut off on me because uh, this is a Dell laptop and it shuts itself off when it gets too hot to avoid overheating itself. So I'd put some games under it so the fan actually had room to breathe. And when I lifted it up, it was just freaking hot. So it was a good idea that I did that, and I probably was right. It was going to shut off probably any second now. Um, so hopefully I have averted that crisis. Anyway, because we've taken 20,000 steps, we get this. A mission fulfilled again. And with that, we get 10,000 Ryo, which really helps. White flower times 2 and 15 XP. Right now, you really need all the money you can get to pay off that store, because really, if you want 100% like I do, that's definitely what you want to go for. We have a new Eric mission, which is to watch... T why? I don't know how to talk. Walk 29,000 or more steps. Jeez. I don't know how you can wash steps, but apparently you can. Build sturdy legs that endure the longest vision by traversing you. 
And yeah. So the last one we need to get done is Break the Targets 3. And if you'll notice, I'm doing actually very, fairly well with that at 565 objects. I've caught myself up by a good amount. <laughs> and now let's talk to Jirai and get our next mission. It's been a while since we worked on your summoning jutsu. You could only summon a tadpole at first, but now you can summon and give him a bunta. That's an improvement. Oh, it's not a big deal. It's just a... It's a little improvement. Not a big deal. <laughs> I can only summon the biggest toad in the world. Um, and now we have a big fight with Gamma Bunta. Dang it. Well, at least I called Jiraiya. And I guess you can guess what this is. Gamma Bunta's son, Gamma Geechee, was lost in thought and wandered off somewhere. Track him down as soon as possible. You know what? I'm feeling nostalgic right now. Why don't we do that before we continue training? <sighs> so nostalgic about... 10 episodes ago. Ah, uh, how the time goes by. And I'm happy I finally have uh, a, a Let's Play longer than 20 episodes. I'm so happy. Um, I'm actually a fan of long Let's Plays, believe it or not. I like doing a project for a long time, you know, focusing on that one and then making the next one just as good as the last or even better. You know, that's what's really fun about this to me is just making the videos and making you guys happy. That's why I do this. And, of course, I love video games. Wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. And, oh, I'm used to clicking the X button to talk to people. Don't know why. Oh, Naruto, what are you doing here? I could ask the same thing to you. I heard the Chief Toad's looking for you. Dad? That's right, this little toad, the little guy we've never even seen before, or may have seen once, is the son of Gamma Bunta. That's a tiny little toad. He's, he's funny. You should definitely look up uh, the anime episode for him. He's hilarious. You better hop to it. Ah, puns! Speaking of my father, you once fought a duel with him, right? Huh? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I did. How did it go? Since you're still alive, does it mean you won? Hmm, I passed out at the end, so it's all a little fuzzy. Hmm, what I think? Flashback of a massive battle. A big fight with Gamma Bunta. That's right. We get to refight. The Chief of Toads, with an awesome loading screen sprite, I may add. And the only condition is, we have to win the battle. There's not even a time limit. Let's just relive ten episodes ago. All right, you little snot. Back when this is a real boss battle. I really love how they have these flashback missions like this. Now, let's see if I can get it to go exactly like last time where I didn't take an HP of damage. And he's probably gonna start attacking us here in a second. Okay. I forgot about this. He's actually tougher this time. It's odd that I didn't remember this. How? I played this fight so many times. How could I not remember this? Um, yes, he's actually a lot tougher this time you face him. He starts off by. Sh he starts off by shooting the uh, water bombs at you instead of finishing off with those. And he has a new attack where he flicks his tongue at you. And instead of just being one giant water ball, they split into many! So yeah. I guess to compensate for that, they make his aim with his knife a little less good, if you know what I mean. And he still has the rampaging water attack, so you're definitely going to want to get out of the way of that. Oh crap, I'm running out of room. Okay, thank god. I was scared I was gonna get hit there. That. <laughs> I never knew he said that. And see? See how late? Remember how late in the fight he started doing that last time? Well, he's doing it before even phase one is over this time. So he's considerably stronger from the last time we fought him. Which I guess. Yeah, dang it! So I guess this really isn't an exact flashback, but it's close enough. And with that, we go to phase two. With the knife! And, of course, the button mashing skills are harder this time. Remember last time we only had to press the left on the directional pad? And then this time we had to press down, up, and left. So, yeah. Definitely a harder... Holy crap! That is cheap! Cheap, cheap beach! Calling it cheap, cheap beach. If you don't know what Cheap Cheap Beach is and you're a gamer, that's kind of sad. Go, don't run out of room! Okay, good. And, okay, let's just hit him. 
I have to say, for this refight, I'm really not doing that bad. I've done worse, actually. Okay, that would have been funny had I said that, then I start sucking horribly. And that should be the last one. Ew! Hey, I managed to dodge the tongue that time. But I didn't manage to dodge the really bad choice of words right there. Like, I can't tell you how bad that was. Uh. Come on, move! Damn it! Oh my god! That, that was just way too close right there. And... Oh, come on! That should have done it. Jump, Naruto! How'd I... How'd I get that? What the... I'm not complaining! Okay, yeah, that, that pretty much is what I was expecting to happen. Whoa! Crap. Okay, this should put him into the last phase. Yep. Here we go. Prepare for really, really difficult button mashing right here. Alright, you really gotta know your controller well if you're gonna do this fight like I'm doing. Like, I've had runs where I've actually died because of these cutscenes. And, I believe you're gonna have to mash one button here. Yeah. Oh, come on! I pressed square! Dang it! Oh, pfft! Like, oh, come on! You changed the button! Cheap! That is cheap. Okay, there we go! <laughs> well, this is how I usually do on these runs. I guess you say you're good, and then this is what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, let's see. X, X, triangle, triangle, X. Oh, okay. Remember, um, the fight against Shikaku? I actually had a failed take of that. I edited it out because it was in the same, because it was in the same run. I edited it out, not because, you know, I didn't want to show everybody that I sucked at the game, which I, honestly, I don't. That was just a mistake on my part. I pressed L, uh, R1 instead of L1, I think, or L1 instead of R1. I forget which. Um... I would have shown it, but you know, it was such a dramatic moment I didn't want to ruin it with my epic fail. I was even mad about my controller saying it was low on battery. But you know, it was not. I just want you to know that it wasn't because that I'm a wimp and didn't want to tell you guys that, you know, I do make mistakes. Because I do. I do make mistakes. And as you saw right there, I made like three mistakes that are really bad. <laughs> Two of them are hilarious, but I'll admit my, state, my mistakes are hilarious, but yeah. I didn't. I didn't cut it out because I'm a jerk. I cut it out because I didn't want to ruin the uh, fight. When I'm going through the boss battles a second time, though, you'll get to see every single fail, and I can assure you, there will be many, many fails. <laughs> you'll be, you'll get compensated for the ones you don't get to see in the upcoming boss fights. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, And with this, we get 5,800 Kunai Rain times 3, another item, and 23 XP. Not bad. I was lucky to land a blow. Ribbit. You actually landed a blow on my father? That's impressive. Ribbit. <laughs> well, since then, the Chief Toad has been helping me out, so I'm glad for that. No, not in the way a master and pupil deal usually works. You're an interesting guy. You think? It's rare that Dad would help out a squirt like this. You have a great future. Coming from you, that's... Something, I guess. Thanks. Uh, I love flashbacks. And my recorder says it's 17 minutes. I've been recording for 17 minutes. But because I'm cutting out a little bit of it, I'm going to guess we're somewhere at either 15 or 14 minutes. So we do have time for um, one, possibly two more missions. I'm going to try to fit two in, but I don't... I don't honestly want to go over 20 minutes, because we've had so many episodes over 20 minutes, and let me tell you, they take forever to render in my computer. Um, I think we can get two in as long as the fights aren't that hard, because I know the next one we have coming up is a fight. I'm just not sure if the next one after that is a fight. But I'm going to go ahead and cut away so until I get all those secret scrolls over there. There's really not a lot. So I will see you in one sec. Oh, I missed. Alright. I'm all done with that. And now I have 
just under 4,000 scrolls and almost 600 objects broken, so we'll be getting that pretty soon. Now, let's go ahead and continue with the training. Reunion with Lady Tsunade. Eventually, Jiraiya, accompanied by Naruto, was able to reunite with Tsunade, but Tsunade refused to become the fifth Hokage. Not only that, she mocked the previous Hokages and enraged Naruto. That brought about a potentially explosive situation. A lot of time has passed since we left the Hidden Leaf Village, but we finally found the person we were looking for. At last, Sasuke's gonna get cured! But my joy only lasted seconds. The Tsunade person is mocking the past great Hokages. I don't care if she is a woman. No one mocks the third Hokage or the fourth Hokage in front of me. I'm gonna punch her out! The legendary medical ninja! Reunion with Lady Tsunade! Too late for apologies, so save it! I'm not gonna forgive you! <laughs> I don't even need to go all out. Let's fight! Now you know why this game is rated T for Teen. Not only because they said they were going to punch a woman out. Yeah. I'm sorry that sounded mean, but that's the way I guess they intended it. I don't think in the anime or manga they ever said anything like that, but. The second reason that this game is rated T for Teen is because mainly of Tsunade and her giant breasts. Then again, you probably have seen her before because you're probably playing this game. And if you haven't, well, yeah, this is her. And there's something unique about this fight if you haven't noticed it. She has an aid that is assisting her in this fight. Her name is Shizune. She is also a master of medical jutsu. And she, once again, is only a support character for this fight. I don't get it. I don't know why they do it this much. But, oh, as you can see there, she has an attack pretty much exactly like Jiraiya's, except she uses her foot. And the, the reason she's assigning is not because of her famous medical jutsu, although she is good at that. It's because she has monster strength. One time, because Jiraiya, as we know, he's a pervert, again, right, why this game is rated T for Teen, he was looking in on Tsunade bathing one time. She caught him and nearly killed him by punching him in the chest. Just just a punch almost killed Jiraiya. Yeah. So, yeah, you can imagine how strong she is. So not only great at medical jutsu, but a really strong ninja at that. I don't know how much else we could pile on top of the... I'm not going to finish that <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was so... Ins <laughs> I swear I did not intend to say that. <laughs> I was going to say how much more could you pile on top of her. <laughs> oh my god. I, I just can't believe myself sometimes. Mission success. Anyway... We get walnuts from that. <laughs> How fitting. <sighs> well, with that one last laugh, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, we're going to see why Naruto could not defeat Tsunade. Yes, once again, even though you won, uh, they made it look like they made it look like you won. You really lost. Yeah. How she beat you? She, she basically took off your headband and flicked you in the forehead. Yeah, that's how she does it. She's that strong. So, next time, I guess we'll continue our training to master the Rasengan, which is tougher than it looks. And we will be breaking 600 objects, hopefully. Alright, see you guys next time for episode 25! Oh my god, I'm at the 25 mark!